Here's an audio of Lloyd Blankfein, who, of course, is the uh, CEO and chairman of Goldman Sachs. You remember Goldman Sachs. They're the ones who just coincidentally, because all of their buddies were in the government um, when the uh, banks crashed, came out doing quite well for themselves. Uh, here's an audio of him on, what was this, uh, 60 Minutes the other night? Scott Pelley? Some CBS show. Yeah, I think it was Scott Pelley. One of those news shows. Taking a break from doing God's work. Yes, here it is. The subject that politicians don't want to talk about. You're going to have to undoubtedly do something to lower people's expectations, the entitlements, and what people think that they're going to get uh, because it's not going to, they're not going to get it. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid? Some things. And, you know, you could go back and you can look at the history of these things. And Social Security wasn't devised to be a system that supported you for a 30-year retirement after a 25-year career. So there'll be certain things that, you know, the retirement age has to be changed. Maybe some of the benefits have to be affected. Maybe some of the inflation uh, adjustments have to be revised. Hold but on, in general, pause it for a second. First off, who is it that's working for 20, 25 years and then retiring for 30 years? I, the only, the only, the only people that I've heard about are doing that, who get, who get a pension after uh, 20, 25 years are cops and firefighters. They don't get their Social Security till they're 65, 66, 67, depending on when, when they're going to retire anyways. This is just absurd. He's lying. You have to lower people's expectations. Over 50% of Americans rely on Social Security for 50% of their income in retirement. So you're talking an average of $1,400 a month. So this millionaire whose bank was bailed out by the United States government is saying that these people, you know, the expectations that you're going to have, uh, you know, 2000 bucks a month as a senior citizen to live off of, we got to lower people's expectations in that way. To, to retire at a 25-year career and be ready for Social Security when you retire, that means you started your career at, what, 40-something, 40 40-something, 40 40-something yeah. years old, yeah. Well, it's just absurd. He's lying. Entitlements have to be slowed down and contained. Because we can't afford them going forward? Because we can't afford them. Yeah, it's a complete lie. You know, every rich person who's a dick is coming out of the woodwork now because they see this as an opportunity, this whole potential for a grand bargain, as an opportunity to cut social insurance programs like Social Security and Medicare. Opportunities like this don't come around too often for them. So they're really, really doing their best to take it. When in fact, A, it has nothing to do with the deficit, and B, we don't want to close the deficit. We want to spend more at a time of, of, of decreased uh, demand in the private sector. So, I don't know. All I can say is, Lloyd, F you.